All right, so Bitcoin for today. So last we said about Bitcoin uh, was the other day, yesterday actually, we said we were down here, okay? And we talked about the key levels for longing, okay? It was over here. Actually, this, we were right here, okay? And what we talked about were three key levels for Bitcoin to come down at. Um, it came down to this last one, right? But what we said when we were like right around here is don't get caught shorting at supports, right? We said to long at supports. And I said, just to hammer this home, I'm going to write it on here that we're going to long at supports, right? So I wrote it on here and we we're like right here. Okay. So don't forget that. You always long at supports, always short at the tops. Don't get caught with your pants down, shorting at the bottoms and longing at the tops, okay? Then we came up here, we had some nice consolidation, some nice, you know, bullishness with a break to the upside, okay? So now how are we looking? Well, you know, it looks like we did kind of have a nice bull flag here um, into some upside. Um, however, this upside is going to keep going. So, you know, remember, we're not bullish until we're bullish, right? So we need to start making some higher highs here. This is going to be like the real test in this area. We need to start making some higher highs here to be bullish. Am I longing right now at this exact point? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay. We have to, you know, be very smart and look at the overall. So if we really zoom out. Look at what we've done already. We've done all of this. And we saw that a lot of this was due to the NASDAQ this morning. The NASDAQ shot up. Okay. I expect this just like any other BART to come right back down. Unless the NASDAQ keeps going. Okay. But I don't expect it to. It's really going to depend on what, what happens tomorrow with the news. So I'm going to be watching it live and trying, and I'll be in the Discord as well in the live chat. And, uh, you know, I expect a lot of volatility. Okay. A lot of volatility tomorrow. Whenever these things happen, price moves fast. And I mean fast. Okay. So here's what you're going to do you're not going to use high leverage. Okay. You're not going to use high leverage. I mean, the last time this happened, it was absolutely nuts. It was like up, down, up. I think at least like $2,000 of Bitcoin. It was like this. Okay. We shot down, we shot back up and then we shot right back down. Okay. I mean, it was fast. All right. And I think, yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. Okay. It was somewhere up here. I don't remember where it was. It might've been like this or something. Yeah, it might have been that one actually. There's a huge like hump in the middle of it. Yeah, I think that was might have been it right here. Yeah. Actually, I don't know where it went. But I mean it happens it happens so fast. Okay. So here's what you're gonna do. You're not gonna use high leverage because people were just getting liquidated left and right. It's gonna move so fast. You're not gonna have time to put in your stop loss, and your stop loss might not even get triggered. So what you're going to do is you're going to use a nice five or 10 X and just wait. Okay. Because th the market is going to be so volatile that you can't expect your trades to get filled. So don't expect that if you're, you know, you're using a stop loss and everything and you know, you're all safe. It's not going to be like that. Okay. It's going to be super volatile. It's going to be moving at breakneck speeds up and down. So here's what you're going to do. I already said the first thing. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to use lower leverage. Um, prepare for volatility tomorrow. Okay. One, you're going to trade BTC. Okay. Because October, um, oh yeah, I'll, all right, I'll go back and look at it. Thank you. Um, I could have, I should have just looked myself. Yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, thanks Pierre. You're going to trade Bitcoin because the other ones are going to be more reactive to Bitcoin and they're going to be kind of like secondary. Okay. You want to be right on the bleeding edge with the things that are moving first. So Bitcoin, you're going to stick to Bitcoin Two, you're going to use lower leverage. Okay. Now you don't have to do these things, but you can come back and tell me, Hey, I should have done this, right? Use lower leverage. Okay. I'm talking 10 X max. Okay. Okay. Or face liquidation. Okay. Three. Put in orders at extremes ahead of time. So this is like how we trade mirror and how we trade anchor and XCN. 
you know that some of these coins are just going to do their one-time ship pumps up to the top and up down to the bottom. So what you're trying to do is catch that wick. Okay. So we want to have orders in way above and way below for when it wicks and the exchanges are trying to process these millions and millions of orders and the exchanges kind of get a little funky, you know, for just a second there. Maybe they're not really processing everything. Um, you know, so we want to be prepared for that. So, you know, let's put the orders in ahead of time. So for Bitcoin, let me turn on the volume here. So if we do happen to have some upside, you know, key level here is 19.1. Okay. This is a very key volume level right here. 19.1. Okay. Just be prepared. If this thing starts pumping really fast and it starts getting really volatile, put in a five or 10 X order up here and just let it sit there. You know, if your order doesn't get hit, no harm, no foul. You can cancel it later, right? But there's a thing about if it hits, I mean, it's going to shoot up a little bit and then shoot down and you're going to instantly be up a lot. Okay. Um, to the downside though, I would be looking more for like 16, one, somewhere down here. Okay. 16, five, which is this range POC 16, five is going to be very strong. Okay. You're going to get a slight bounce at some of these. You know, 16, five, you're going to get a slight bounce up, but it might keep going to the downside. Okay. That's why we're using lower leverage. Okay. So for these extremes, we're looking at, you know, a short, short at 19, one. Okay. And you're going to use multiple orders here because no one can time the exact top and bottom, right? So maybe use two orders for each of these. Okay. So maybe one at like 1988, um, 19, 08, 19, Okay. Just to catch the wick up there. Okay. Um, next one would be like a long at 16, five. And then down here at the bottom of the range, 15, seven. Okay. I'm telling you, be prepared. Okay. Cause it's gonna be very, very volatile. Sometimes if it's too volatile, I won't even, I won't even, I'll just watch it. Okay. It's just not worth risk, you know, losing the money. You're going to see how much money's being made. Cause it's going to go up so fast and you know, you're going to be like, oh, the FOMO is killing me. Right. But that's when you do just do a very low amount. If you get the FOMO, just a case of the FOMOs, just do a very low amount and do low volume, low volume, low leverage. You can do high, high leverage if you want to do one. Okay. Just to gamble, feel free, but don't do high volume. And then you can watch yourself get liquidated and you can get that feeling of being liquidated and that the money's gone. And then you're going to be like, okay, I'm glad I didn't do that. So if you're prepared to be liquidated, do it with a small amount first, just so you can feel the, you can feel how it feels to get liquidated. Okay. You're like, oh, you know, actually it doesn't sound as fun as I thought it was going to be. You know, that wasn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. You know, so that's the plan for tomorrow. Expect a lot of volatility. So October 12th and 13th. Yeah, I can already see it. I already see it. It's this one, right? This was what happened the last time. Thank you, Pierre. Appreciate you. So this is what I'm talking about. I think this was it. Um, oh wait, I'm back in December. Okay. So this is what it looked like. Okay. So we're going to have to really zoom in to see this. Okay. So here's what happened. <laughs> I remember this so, so well, this is some crazy stuff. So I think this was around the time when it happened last time, you can see this volatility. So we were coming up here and we all thought we were going to dump. Like, you know, cause we were looking like we were going to go down and finally break this 19 one level to the downside. You know, we've been toying with it and everything. So we were all expecting finally we're going to break down, you know, and go down. Right. It was looking very dumpy. Right. So we came down here. Let me make this a little bit brighter. We came down here and imagine this in real time. This happened so fast. Okay. Came down here and we shot back up. And I remember watching this cause I remember being like, oh, nice. I'm up 80% in profits. Boom. Oh man, I'm only up 1% profits. 
And I remember watching this and being like, fuck, my stop loss is about to hit. So my stop loss was like, like literally at this green box, like right here. And I was like, shit, like my stop loss is about to be hit, you know? And one of my golden rules is you don't, you know, you don't change your stop loss, right? You stick to your plan. So I was like, shit, my stop loss is about to be hit. I remember sitting here in discord with unlimited watching this. And then it just shot back down. I was like, fuck yes. Thank God. And I'm like, here we go. We're going down to 14 K 13 K. You know, I've got Amazon open. I'm, you know, putting things in the cart. I'm ready to go. Right. I'm like, Hey, you know what? We're getting steak tonight. Right. We're going to Applebee's. We're going somewhere nice. Right. To get some food. You know, we're getting all the free bread we can eat tonight. It's on me. And we're drinking water with ice in it. But then we had some upside, right? And this happened a little bit slowly. <laughs> I don't mean that, that much slowly, right? But anytime you come down to a new low, you don't expect to go up to a new high, okay? This is crazy. I'm glad I took profits. This is the definition of why you take profits, okay? Even though I thought for sure, okay, this is probably going down to 15K, 13K from here. Because there really wasn't that much volume in this area. And this was like, you know, these, these are just wicks down here, right? There's not much volume in this area at this time. I thought for sure, okay, you know, we're going on 12K, 13K, you know, go ahead, fire it up. You know, let's just go down to this Amazon store itself and we'll just buy one of everything, okay? You know, Jeff Bezos is going to be my bitch right here. Oh, I just got to demonetize again. So, you never expect to be making a higher high from a lower low. It's crazy. And I remember I took profits here like 50%. And then it started to climb up and I was like, holy shit, like what's going on here? You know, like, come on guys, just chill out, bro. Like we're going to go down, right? Like what's going on here? And it just kept going and my stop loss got hit up here. I mean, I still made, you know, or my stop loss get hit up here. Um, my stop loss got hit like down here, like an improved stop loss. But I remember thinking like, holy shit, like what's going on here? And it all it went all the way up here. This was the volatility. Okay. So it was like up, down, up, down, up, down. And I remember it happened very quickly. Something like this right here. It, it, it's going to look completely unnatural. It's going to be very fast, very turbulent, very violent. Something like this, actually. All right? It's going to look like this. Where you're going to drop down, up, down, up, down, up, down really quickly. All right. So be prepared for tomorrow. Okay. Be prepared. If you're in trades ahead of time, you know, make sure you have, you know, good orders in, good stop losses. You have to take profits ready. Okay. And, you know, if you trade responsibly, you can make a lot of money off this. Okay. You can. I remember one of the times I think I had like three 100% profit trades back to back to back within a matter of like minutes. It was the easiest trading in my life, right? Because it would, it would, you know, come back down. I shorted it. It dropped. And then, you know, I uh, moved my stop loss down immediately. It triggered as it shot right back up. I shorted again and then it came all the way back down, you know, to, you know, move my stop loss way down and it shot right back up and then did the same thing. Right. And it's like the, you know, it's like 400% profits in a matter of like five minutes, you know? Um, but if you do too much leverage, you're going to get liquidated. So avoid the leverage. So that's how we're looking. Now for Bitcoin, let's let's look um, under the hood, okay? Let's look under the hood here for Bitcoin and see what's going on. So, you know, like we said, we need to start making some higher highs here. We really do. Um, if we're going to be bullish, okay? Remember, we're not bullish until we're bullish, which means we're not bullish until we start making some higher highs. You know, don't get caught into thinking, hey, this, this looks kind of bullish to me, you know? This looks like it's going to break up to the upside, right? That's where it tricks you, right? It's not going to until we start making higher highs. Now, the volume itself, though, actually looks pretty good here. I'm not going to lie. You know, the volume, the volume looks pretty good here, right? It does. But we're not making higher highs yet. So, hold off for right now. Open interest is starting to curl up. You know, volume is going up. Everything actually looks not bad, right? It really doesn't. So, I mean, we could actually see a break to the upside. But there's nothing you can really do about it right now. Because, you know, you don't, you don't want to be long at the top. You want to be shorting at the top, right? So, don't lose sight of that. Um, so I think that's it for Bitcoin. Um, you know, as for your key levels here, you know, I would expect us to probably retest this 17.9. It doesn't look like we wicked. Maybe we did wick 18k actually. This is Binance. We did wick 18k. Yeah, I think we kind of did. Um, but I would I would still expect some liquidity here at 18k. Uh, you know, maybe a retest of it. 
Well, if we if we make a lower high here first and then we come back down, right? So something like this, you know, one of these, right? Just rising wedges to the downside. Um, otherwise, if we do come up here, you know, the other thing is it could come up, make a lower high, come back down, you know, something like that, right? Same same thing. Okay. AJ, you think the rising wedge of BC is broken out to the upside? So then it wouldn't be a rising wedge, but you know, it's tough to say because sometimes it's a good question. Thanks, Caleb. So it's a good question. So when you have like patterns, remember, I'm not a huge fan of um, patterns at all. Okay. It's the movement inside the patterns because people look at them blindly and just you know, say, oh, it's a rising wedge. It's doing this thing. Or it's an ascending triangle. It's doing this thing, which is not the important thing, right? The important thing is the actual price movement inside of it. Okay. Now you can have some of these movements, but you can have outliers in them. Okay. So for example, you know, if we looked at something like this, right? If you're looking at like this rising wedge here, okay. And that pink is hot, huh? Pink is so nice. Okay. Something like this, you know, the main thing is that the price is kind of consolidating, right? The price is consolidating. See how it's getting more narrow. That's the key part. It's not that you have these outliers. Okay. Things like this. And we could have had one time where it went up like this, right? And came back down. Which I just drew a big dick and I just got demonetized again. Let me get rid of this rocket ship. So the main thing is that the actual price movement inside of it. And you can see this was really consolidating as we get up to the top, right? Overall, the price movement was. So you can't really look at the, you know, the one or two outliers. And we know that, you know, this, this upside here was from the NASDAQ, right? The NASDAQ pumped today pretty hard. Um, and this is overall looking like a BART for right now. Okay. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but it, it looks like the overall price movement in this is still a rising wedge, right? It still looks like the price movement is overall kind of consolidating, right? So the other interesting thing is if we change this trend line to like this. So on my other Bitcoin chart, I had another trend line drawn to the top. Okay, like this. All right. So this was the original. Um, this was the original trend lines I drew when we first got down here. Okay, and I don't want to change them at all, actually. But when we were first down here, these were the original ones I drew. So instead of it being like up here like this, right? It was like it was something like this, right? It was more like a bear pennant. Okay, which is still a break to the downside. These are the original ones I drew. But, you know, in this case, I mean, it still looks like the price is kind of, you know, narrowing as we go up, right? So, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not exactly sold on it. I mean, we're still making a lower high overall in this range, right? From our November 10th high. So, yeah, this is a pretty key level up here. It really is. So we'll have to see what happens tomorrow. It looks like we are testing for a local high here. I mean, look at the, the volume looks really good, right? Open interest looks good, but we're not bullish until we're bullish. And we start making higher highs here. So so overall, you know, I still see it as, you know, as, um, you know, overall that price is kind of consolidating into this rising wedge formation. You know, overall it is. Now, you know, we always say that um, you know, to make sure you're, you know, you're trading using, you know, good fundamentals. So long as support shorting at the tops, right? Don't get caught. Even if you think it's going down, you still want to be, you know, waiting for good entries. Okay. So, but you know, normal volatility does happen. So hopefully, you know, people did get in. I saw some people did get into longs down here when we talked about it last time. Um, you know, so to wait and see but right now i'd be looking more for shorts up here um in this range up here 18k to you know 18.1 area hey you made it to the end of the video congrats most people finish early but you made it the full distance that's awesome if you're looking to learn how to trade crypto check out one of these other videos